On to the next one. Hello. <laughs> this is a good segue from the uh, distribution centers as I'll be talking to you about different aspects of cargo and freight on behalf of Art and Design. My name is Nick Etheridge and I'm an Assistant Environment Art Director. So obviously cargo isn't just about boxes, it's a big part of the game, almost every aspect of the game has some kind of involvement with cargo. And I'm going to briefly go through some of them now. So let's start with missions. How will hauling contracts work in game? We'll be introducing the Interstellar Transport Guild. As well as, form, as well as formalizing some of the main hauling and cargo companies that you'll be working with. As you do more hauling contracts, you will build up your reputation and relationship with the guild. This will lead you to gaining more lucrative contracts for specialized cargo and destinations, such as different forms of hazardous cargo, perishable cargo, riskier routes, and, and more. So what do I mean by hazardous and perishable? Well, as you know, there's lots of commodities in the game, and different commodities have different properties. As you know, with events like Xenothreat, we have some special cargo types with different attributes, such as time-sensitive cargo or quantum-sensitive cargo. But those were a small selection for the event, and they were the two-handed carryable types anyway. We'll be expanding those types, plus lots more types, to the wider game and to these hauling contracts. So how does this affect gameplay? It will affect the choices you make when you are handling, storing, and traveling with the cargo. For example, with size and weight, is it carryable? Do you need a tractor beam? What type of tractor beam do you need? Is it a handheld one or a ship tractor beam? Some containers can only be moved with ship tractor beams, for example. With health, has the container got good integrity? Is it holding fragile goods? Do you need to handle it with care? You can't just throw all containers about. For temperature control, do you need to ensure the container is powered so it can keep the contents cool? Or do you need to get to your destination quickly, um, otherwise the contents may perish? For security, can the container be locked or hacked? Can the contents be scanned or is the container tracked? Will there be pirates or law after you when you're holding this container? Has a containment, is it radioactive? You might need the right uh, protection against it, as you may have seen in Jens's presentation earlier. Can it explode? You might not want to put these containers on a more exposed section of your ship. And many of these attributes are, are going to be visually distinctive. So conversely, if you want to steal, for example, some cargo on a hull C, which does have very exposed cargo containers, you might want to avoid shooting blindly and accidentally blowing up your potential profits. So look out for those types of containers. Back to mission progression. We'll be introducing perks and rewards as part of fulfilling contracts and raising reputation with these companies. For rewards, we'll have branded ship and tool skins, branded clothing. There will be collectibles to decorate your hab, hangar, or ship, or you can put them anywhere you want. And there'll be more exclu exclusive rewards that we'll be revealing later. For <laughs> Thank you. For perks, you'll get access to more items in shops and discounts on specific items. And all of these rewards and perks you need to earn in the game. You cannot just buy them. Next, let's have a look at freight elevators and hangars. I knew you'd be excited for this. I'd like to show you a short video to demonstrate how freight elevators will change 
how you view your hangers and how you use your hangers. Thank you, thank you. So, as you can see, hangers, they will become persistent and personal, meaning you can stay there as long as you want. Whatever you leave there will persist and will be yours to use as you see fit. Your hanger won't just be a place that you leave from in your ship. It will become a key base of operations to handle your inventory and storage needs. And you'll be able to request your ships from an ASOP terminal from within the hangar itself. Location inventories won't be magic and instant anymore. This means that the freight elevators will be one of the main ways you interact with your local inventory. Items stored at the location can be requested via the elevator kiosks and will be brought up in a physicalized state to do with as you want. This would be done through a dedicated interface screen to manage large volumes of items. It won't be using the personal inventory system. The change is obviously a really big quality of life improvement to retrieving ground vehicles. No longer do you have to travel thousands or millions of kilometers to specific places in the verse to get your vehicle. You will get them straight from your hangar. You'll also be able to bring up ship components. So your hangar is now more of a maintenance bay and outfitters where you can do repairs and swap around items and things like that. So in short, persistent player hangers in combination with freight elevators will dramatically change what you can do in your hangar. It will be a home to do as you want, which has always been the dream. That concludes my presentation. Thank you very much for listening.